Welcome. I had no video ideas. <laughs> I had no video ideas for this week, so we're just gonna do a get ready with me. I'm not even going anywhere. I'm pretty much just doing my makeup for the video. It was foggy this morning and I was like, wow, I love fog. And then it got sunny. Like I was embracing the fog, like why did it get sunny and ruin? Like the fog would have been good lighting. The sunny? No. I thought a get ready with me would be... I thought it'd be good anyway, because I feel like I've not really explained... I've not really done a proper like talking video for a while. I've not really spoken about what I'm doing in my life now. So I thought I would do a little life update. Maybe also talk about my feelings. <laughs> ages ago when i did like get ready with me no about two years ago yeah that's crazy well i decided to just like answer like random questions and get ready with me and the questions ended up being like really deep and so the whole video i was just like getting deep about my life and that's what i named the video and i feel like people actually enjoyed that video so let's bring it back life update what's been happening so i did my masters this year as you probably know i was gonna do a like imperial review like review of my masters review of the course but i really can't be bothered and i just want to put it all behind me um but let's just say i did not have a good time probably like one of the worst years of my life yeah, i mean that's a bit dramatic like i wasn't depressed or anything like i was fine but it just like i guess like the worst year i've had in a long long time very long time maybe year 13 was pretty bad like that's like five years ago so Get my brushes i love this thing so yeah i did my masters during that what really happened i don't know i just like was very focused on my work i guess um that's why i literally didn't post ever and i did not even start looking for jobs till like i basically finished uni because i was just like uni was like a lot of work so i just like didn't really have time or mental capacity to be like applying to things i don't know how people do it like undergrad i definitely would have had time but like masters it's too much so yeah i finished my course and then i'm now unemployed so that's fun i didn't even get a part-time job which maybe i should have actually no i shouldn't have i really needed a rest this saturday will be a month since i finished my degree completely what have i been doing in this time basically filming youtube videos painting a lot i mean all the things you've seen in the videos like i've been crocheting i've been sewing if I don't do anything YouTube related, I usually go to the gym. By the time I've like sorted myself out, like had a, my protein, had a shower, it's probably like 1 or 2 p.m. And I go to the gym as soon as I've digested my breakfast. So like I wake up at 8 or half 8. And then after gym, I like chill for a bit. And then I go have lunch. By the time I finish lunch, it's like usually 3. And then at 4, I pick my dad up. From work i've been watching gilmore girls in the evenings so that's pretty much my day gym and gilmore girls i applied to this job like ages ago like and this was while i was like still doing uni work i think it was like literally like midnight and i was in bed just like google jobs I found this like lab job and i was like yeah i'll just send my cv off whatever and then i went to bed the recruiter like texted me being like any free to like have a chat about this so then i called him and he was just asking me questions that was it i didn't hear from them for like weeks and then i had this interview on today is thursday i had this interview on tuesday i spent so long preparing for it like literally read like their stupid publications and i had like notes like i'd made like school the king notes and then i had the interview and i was like 10 minutes and then i asked some questions and then i think the interview ended about like 15 17 minutes in so i was really confused i was like i literally prepared all these answers for no reason and i yeah i just didn't think the interview went well and then he called me later that day which was yesterday saying that they want me to come in for another interview in person this time on friday and they give me a lab tour and everything yeah that's the update we've had loads of new like coffee shops open in town and i'm so excited about it but like i really want something like um autumn themed i don't think anybody does it apart from starbucks like 
pumpkin spice and stuff. There's never been a coffee shop in town that does like matcha and finally there is which is so exciting like there's finally like independent coffee shops in town we literally only used to have costa starbucks and cafe nero that would be the only coffee shops i've been watching gilmore girls spoiler alert if you haven't seen gilmore girls i've just seen the episode where dean gets married we're always just like standing there like watching him get married and she looks so sad and that really like hit home i don't know why like i felt like i was her like looking back at like my relationship like we used to be together and now he's getting married to someone else i don't know what i'm on about but it just made me really sad <laughs> Her graduation speech also made me cry a little bit. Also kind of makes me sad that I finished uni. <laughs> now that it's like not summer anymore, hot girl summer's over. And it's just like sad girl autumn, you know. I feel like it's a lot more sad to be single at this time than it is in the summer. Does anyone else get like random like long hairs on their neck? And it always grows really thick and I always pluck it out and it always grows back. I've been very anti-relationship for a long time. It's like this is the first like autumn where I've not been like freshly freshly single. And now it's like getting to the point where I think I'm, I feel like slowly, you know, it's been long enough that I can be sad about it again. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know if that makes sense, but if like someone does come along, then like I wouldn't be opposed to being in a relationship up until autumn. I was very much, I don't care who I meet, I don't want to be in a relationship. It's just, you know, cosy weather. And I think I'm just bored, to be honest. I don't have anything going on. I'm unemployed. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. Okay. I like autumn, but like, I do not like everything that follows. People who say they like winter, your argument of the fact that it's Christmas is literally so dumb. That's just December. There's a whole January and February. If someone says they like January or February, you're literally a psycho. Anyways, I'm having a stroke because I'm like, I'm literally going to be using all, all my money on rent. Because rent in London is literally extortionate. But living at home and commuting would be terrible because I'd get home at like 7pm. I mean, I can do it for like a a bit but like it's not a long term i'm just gonna have no life and i'm gonna be depressed if i do that then it's like i'm literally gonna have pretty much the same amount of money if i like stay at home and like work at tesco or something or if i live in london and get a proper job like because all the money is gonna be going on rent like i just want to be a stay at home wife but also i want to be single so <laughs> uh anyways life's tough but what can you do so yeah, I'm having a bit of a life crisis because then I'm like, but you know, you can do whatever you want. But then like, I feel like what I want is just to be lazy and like not live in London. But all my friends are in London. I really wanted to move to London and now I like don't really anymore. But I'm like kind of forcing myself to just because I know I'll regret it. And like, it's not like I'm going to be living in London for the rest of my life. It's just, I think I need to do it while I'm young. I will have a simple boring life in the suburbs when I'm older. I shouldn't settle for that now, even though it's very, very tempting. Like, I just want, like, somewhere, like, kind of close to London. I mean, I'm kind of close to London now, but, like, somewhere a little bit closer to London, maybe. Live by myself. Maybe, like, get a pet, get a cat, and, like, have work not be too far away. But, like, that sounds perfect to me, but, like, that sounds, like grandma life like i need to party while i'm young but like i really can't be bothered i feel like i'm ready to like be boring <laughs> i know that i have like the rest of my life to be boring so i'm just like trying not to be right now so this is why i'm forcing myself to move to london even though you know i'm gonna hate wherever i move because it's gonna be tiny i'm gonna have to live with people and i hate living with other people I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to because I cannot afford to live by myself. Right, I'm gonna finish off my makeup off camera. I've done my makeup. I literally look so naked without eyelashes, but okay, thanks for watching. If you like getting ready with me, let me know. I feel like most people find them kind of boring. So if you actually watch the whole thing, thank you. I appreciate you. I literally look so naked without eyelashes. Ah, I'm insecure. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe and I'll see you next Saturday at 5, hopefully. Bye!